Okay, we are going to do a line of review of each of our kinds of letters. So we're going to start with our counterclockwise ovals first. Let's see if I can get these all in alphabetic order. So, A. You should practice these so much that they just come pretty naturally to you. C. D, G, O, I got it this time, I didn't skip it, and Q. So that's six letters. Now the looping letters. Loop to the headline. Come down, tuck it in, and smile. That's your B. Then F. No, E. Oops, almost forgot it again. E. Just loop to your midline. F. Loop to the headline. Down past the baseline. Loop to the right. Bounce off and come up for your tail to the midline. H. Nice tall loop to the headline. Down to the baseline. Retrace. Make your hump and your dip for your finish. K. Loop up to the headline. Down to the baseline. Retrace. Make your hump. Tuck it in. Come down to your baseline and your tail back up to your midline. And, low, and lowercase l, loop to your headline. And that's six letters, so we got that one too. Yay me! Okay, now we're going to do a third row. And this is the upstroke letters. So our first upstroke letter is I, baseline, upstroke, upstroke, and dot. J, upstroke to your midline, down loop to the left, cross over at the baseline, touch your midline, and dot. P, upstroke to the midline, down past the baseline, retrace, make your circle to the right, your oval really technically, and touch and retrace and back up to your midline. R, upstroke past the midline, retrace, make a corner, come down and around and make your tail. Now S, upstroke past your midline, retrace, make a nice rounded bump on the front almost touch and then retrace and come up for your tail. T, upstroke almost to your headline, retrace, then upstroke to your midline and cross. U, upstroke, upstroke, upstroke. Let me make sure I've got enough room here on the screen. Yep, I'm good. Okay, and then W, upstroke, 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 smile. Now we're going to start letters that have a hump. Some do a hump and a retrace, some do a hump and a dip. So we're going to do the hump retrace ones first, then we'll do the hump dips. We have one, two, three, four, five, six letters left. So our first one is M. Now, M and N are tricky because it's very tempting to make too many humps on an M. So first, let's analyze um, printing M first. The way you're supposed to do printing M is to come down from the midline and then make two humps next to it. Okay, so you touch the midline, one, two, 
three times, you touch the baseline one, two, three times. Here's cursive M. You come up for a hump, one, two, three. Okay? If you cover up the lead in part, the, line, the lead in line, I'm hoping my shadow is not too much here, you can see that it starts from the head or the midline and it comes down. So that's one, then two, three, and then your tail. So here's your printing M right there. Okay? So we're going to ignore this printing M and we're going to continue with our cursive M's. Make sure that you retrace here and here. Otherwise, you're just going to get a squiggly line. And trust me, I've seen them. Okay, start at your baseline. One hump, retrace. Two humps, retrace. Three humps, and then a dip for your tail. Let's do it again. One, two, three, dip and tail. One, two, three, dip and tail. <coughs> Ready? Last one. One, two, three, dip and tail. Now notice I've touched my baseline one, two, three, four times. I've touched my headline one, two, three, four times. Okay, pick your favorite of yours. My favorite's right here. If you like your favorite better than you like my favorite, then put a curly cue on your favorite. Practice those M's and pay very close attention to how many humps you're making. Because children will often make a fourth hump, and that's incorrect. Or they don't make enough. Especially once they learn N, which is in the next lesson. And we'll analyze both of those in the next lesson. Practice, practice.